Oh, yesterday we played video games, but tonight we had a totally different kind of gaming because tonight was D&D &D night. Yep, it is impossible to get through Vita without at least one D&D &D post, probably a couple. No, we're looking at wrapping up our campaign in July with a huge mashup game that combines the D&D livestream, which you can see every other Sunday, Sunday with the in-person game that I run. And it'll be 14 people. It'll be people from all over the province and all over the world. It'll be super fun. It will not in any way be recorded or broadcast, so, I mean, there's that. Uh, just because then I would have to not only run it, but also film it, and that would be a ton of hectic stuff. Not to mention worrying about audio in, in a room with 15 to 17 people is really tough. But I am really excited for the new edition of D&D because it looks great. I've already run a couple of games with experienced players and with people who've never played before and it makes it really accessible to people who've never played before which is great. We've got all these exciting minis. It's going to be a really good time. It's it's neat. The thing the neat thing about it to me is everybody likes to explore something different. Some people really like action. Some people really like sort of individual character development. Uh, I'm a sucker for politics and culture and that kind of thing, like world building and reconciling. All that can be tricky sometimes, but I try to get a bit of it into everything because one of the great things about having a game that is entirely our own is. It can be what we want it to be. And there's something really fun about that. Sometimes it's fun to, pl to, to play a game that can be anything you want, uh, rather than a video game, which can be some of the things you want. Which reminds me, I should probably play Skyrim again. Yup. That's totally a thing I should do. Ooh, this weekend's gonna be Skyrim-tastic. We might post some Skyrim footage, I don't know, later this week or later this weekend, but it depends. My, my Skyrim experience is very private and personal. If you play D&D, tell me about your character. That's a, that's a really loaded question. Uh, feel free in the comments. Uh, I will also link to our wiki, where we have a whole bunch of our D&D stuff. And where we keep a lot of our world building stuff, one of the cool things about it is that everyone gets to sort of contribute and build it. And I'm still in the process of rebuilding it, but I don't care. I'm going to share it with you anyway because I want to share my bad art. And because I need to spend more time working on it. So if you can see it, it's better. But yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow with something cool. Don't know what. I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe music. Maybe video games. Probably music. Anyway, have a good night. Play more games. Uh, tell me what games you play. Uh, or tell me your, your, your favorite D&D memory. That's, we might do that later. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> 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 what? He's like, join the Fabulous Five. And oh, we'll make yeah, you a knight. And then you can draw more knights into our fellowship. That, that's what the five is about. You get you get five knights under you. Yeah. And each of them then gets five knights into them. So that's why this guy was going on so much without telling us what he was doing. I'm good. Suddenly this is amazing. Can we kill him? Oh god, I hope so. Because I'm about to try. I should maybe save. Hey, that hurt. Be more careful, would you? How do I get... I, want, I would like to get out of this dialogue. Have okay. you been possessed by a sorcerer? Aim your weapon somewhere else. Oh, yeah! You just murdered him. I was going to drop him off the edge of the world, but you just murdered him.